Now this illustration deals with metal fences that encloses high voltage equipment in a substation. In accordance with 250.194A1 through A6. Now usually, uh, well not usually really, uh, 250.194A1 through A6 is usually where the facility owns the substation. And then you may have a, a, a weatherproof switch gear that you see in the illustration sitting within the substation. You would have a grid built, as you see, below the substation uh, in accordance with IEEE 80. That standard deals with that. Notice that the metal fence uh, within 16 foot uh, intervals uh, has to comply with 250.194A. You have your gate. You got to make sure that the gate is continuously bonded in uh, in accordance with 250.194A3 and A4. And then when we uh, look at the review sections, at the very top, it, uh, it recommends that we see uh, disconnects uh, that would be inside that weatherproof enclosure for feeders 225.52. The overcurrent devices were relays, breakers, or fuses, whatever, would be 225.56. The settings would be designed in 240.100 and 240.101, where the voltage is over 1,000 volts, and the customer-owned substation is kind of outlined in your uh, 490.48 in more detail. Clearance rules now is uh, 230.24 uh, for if it was services. If it's feeders, 225.18 and then 225.60. More additional information is recommended uh, on pages 7 26 and 17 37. Now that would naturally be in. Uh, this volume two of Stalkup's electrical design book. Our bonding jumpers would have to meet 250.194A3 and 250.94A uh, that you see there uh, would have to meet that section. You have your ground grid, you have your driven rods that or driven down at intervals not to exceed 160 foot in accordance with 250.194A. In our final review now of this illustration, we'll look at the note one. Talks about the ground grid should be extended at least three foot out in front of the equipment to provide step voltage and safety concerning step voltage. Note two, all electrical metal items are bonded to the electrical grids. So all, the, all the equipment and so forth that you see inside that substation would be bonded into the grid in accordance with IEEE uh, 80. Uh, note three says for more grounding requirements, uh, see IEEE uh, 80 which would uh, really go through maintenance and all the rules pertaining to uh, a substation. And then note four talks about uh, uh, for the alternative design under in engineering supervision, then see uh, 250.194A. So this figure 16-140 deals with metal fences and the requirements for metal fences in accordance with 250.194A1 through A6.